truly VLAN exclusive. What's up, YouTube? It's really long. I know you didn't hear my voice in a couple of days. I had a lot of school work to do, but that's besides the point. So, I want to talk about a couple of things. And the first thing, I mean, I'll just talk about the Rockets. I just saw that Russell Westbrook got traded for John Wall in the pick. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people said it was a quarter for a dollar trade, which makes sense. Get it? Makes sense? Haha, <laughs> not funny. But at the same time, I feel like it's a better fit for the Houston Rockets. It's based off the fact that, like, John Wall and Russell, like, they know they're bad shooters, but, like, John Wall, he's more of a pass first point guard. I feel like I could see him averaging, like, 20 and 10, maybe two steals on a good night or whatever. And, you know, Russell Westbrook, he, when he's wide open, he doesn't care who'll take the shot, but if John Wall was wide open, no, he's not, you know, that good of a three-point shooter. He, like, wouldn't take it. So, he, and then, like I said, he's passed first, so that really compliments James Harden because he's a, you know, a ball-dominant player. And, as you know, John Wall got reunited with DeMarcus Cousins. So, that that's already some good chemistry there. I guess it all depends on what James Harden wants to do, if he wants to stay or not. Mm. Hopefully. He stays because they even said on Instagram that he preferred John Wall over Russell Westbrook anyway because I guess he would know that he's a pass first so that would compliment him and he's a he's also a better defender than Russell Westbrook you know the Rockets have been very like well and their defense could be better I'll just say that but yeah I feel like as good a better defender a better playmaker maybe not as good as a scorer as Russell Westbrook but James Harden doesn't need him to score, he needs him to pass and play defense more. I mean, obviously score a little bit here and there, but that, that sh he doesn't have to have that as his man role like he did on Washington before, you know, Bill was over there. And DeMarcus Cousins, oh yeah, Christian Wood and DeMarcus Cousins are on the Rockets now. And Christian, that's, that seems like a good lineup, pretty good. I'm pretty, <sighs> well, I can't speak. So far, it seems like a pretty good lineup because Christian Wood, well, a fairly underrated player. I feel like he has like similar, similar intangibles to AD. And you already know how good DeMarcus Cousins was, but again, him and John Wall coming off of the Achilles. But from what I've seen, they play pretty good in the, um, that, those preseason games. So, just I feel like they're both like, you know, recovered as much as possible. I feel like, well, seeing what John Wall did, it seems like he still has his explosiveness. So I say, he might be fully healed, but just to like, be safe, I'll say he might be like 85, 90, and maybe, what's his name? Maybe DeMarcus, he's maybe at like, maybe, I would say at least 70. And, you know, somebody who has similar intangible AD, like Christian, what I think, it'd be a really good lineup, you know, to, too good to well. We have to. Well, actually, no. He did play good defense in that preseason game. So, two good defenders, rebounders, shooters. You know, depending on what they do with PJ Tucker. I'm sure Aaron Gordon will come off the bench. Larry Gordon. I mean, PJ Tucker is a good, you know, three and D wing. So, you know, what you got with John Wall and James Harden. So, I'm sure they can make something work with. I just hope like James Harden doesn't leave. Cause with the Nets thing. Like, I would have wanted him to go there because who doesn't want their favorite player to win a ring if they don't have one, right? So, I would have, I want him to go there. But with the way that the team is set up now, like, obviously they're trying to they get some, you know, they, they got two big men now, so they don't have to experiment with the small ball thing anymore, which was good because, like, PJ Tokyo just went out there, like, putting his body in the line, killing himself. But considering the raw what he had to go through, I said he did. He did his best he could, like he did a good job in my eyes. So he just doesn't have to do that at, like, at that rate anymore, because that's, whew, man, they probably sped up his retirement. But assuming that, you know, John Wall and Demarcus Cousins are at least like at 70% coming off that Achilles, because in that preseason game, I'm assuming John Wall is at like 90, but you never, you, you never know, you can't like read people's minds and all that stuff. But I would assume 
that they're both at least you know, 70, so that's good. And hopefully, James Harden, like they, they find some chemistry and it meshes well together. So he won't leave, cause like, after they got him, like John Wall and all that stuff, then they, he, he should like stay. Cause I know he wanted to go to the, saw something about the Bucks, but you know, hold on. I just remember it. The thing with the Nets, he, KD said him and Harden haven't even like talked. So I guess those are rumors, but I really didn't expect that, that they really have, but considering how Kyrie feels about the media, how they just say stuff, I guess it makes sense not to believe everything. I really believed it. Like, I made a video on it and everything. But hopefully it doesn't go to... You know, so I just hope he says, give, give it at least one more year because, like, they're trying to impress to give you basically everything you wanted. So if John Wall is a pass first and all that stuff and gives him the ball, probably whatever is, like, 20 and 10, two steals, you know, you know he came up in the Achilles. So I feel like he's... It should, it should, it should mesh well. Just... And they should have a really good title. They should be really have a really decent chance at contending for a title. Now I know for sure that the Lakers and the Clippers will be a problem, but you know, with somebody like Christian Wood and the Marcus Cousin, they give him a fighting chance. So I guess we get to see what happens later on. Just hopefully no one gets injured. Because as soon as that happens then or a serious injury, because you know there could be small injuries like an ankle sprain or whatever. You know, hopefully no serious injuries and could see them in the conference finals, hopefully the finals. Because I want James Harden to get a ring. That's why I understood him wanting, well, that was, I, I'm not going to say want to go next because that was fake, but to understand him wanting to trade to a contending team. I mean, I would let it take traders for John Wall to pick because pretty sure they don't have picks until 2027. So all in all, I feel like they won. Cause you know, with somebody like John Wall and Bradley Bill, I'm not sure how much they'll work. But I mean, hey, that's what they want to trade for, so that's what they got. Because we'll see during the season. I don't, I don't predict the Wizards going being more than a seven seed. I think seven seed is their peak. You could quote me on that if you think I'm wrong or whatever. But yeah, I feel like seven seed is their ceiling. But I mean, hey, at least they got a. MVP player that could probably put it. I feel like he could put up a, another triple double for the season. So hopefully, even though this might seem unrealistic, hopefully they don't butt heads like John Wall and Bill did in the past. But I mean, if they do, well, that, that's the player they traded for. So hopefully they thought about that and have some type of plan for it if it happens. But if not, I mean, that's what they got of their trade. So might as well work with them. But comment down below, who do you think won this trade? The Wizards? Even though I didn't talk about them as much as I did the Rockets, because obviously that's my favorite team because of James Harden. But comment who you think down below won the trade. Even though a lot of people said it was like a dollar for four quarters. But, you know, comment down below. Who you think won the Wizards or the Rockets? And have a good reasoning why, because just based off Russell's shot take like three point attempts even though John Wall's not that like I, I said this earlier John Wall's not that much better of a shooter than him he won't take the shot if he doesn't feel like he's gonna make it so that's already something better that 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 three could have went to James Harden someone who has a better chance of making it than him taking it but I mean that's that's the kind of player they have now that's how I feel about it so that's why I feel like the Rockets won plus the pick situation at least I got one one more back instead of struggling until 2027 but that's how I feel about it. And also to my two viewers, I think um my dad's asking me the new Xbox for Christmas. So should have commentaries over that with the new 2K20. Hopefully it's been off and on with them saying like they fixed the service and all that stuff. Hopefully by the time I get it, it's actually fixed. Cause my internet has enough problems. I don't need to go in there and have it double choppy. I'm looking forward to but that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. But if you actually like the video, please like the video. And also, I like to shout out this YouTube channel I listen to. They really get me through my career. It's called Pick a Side, and they discuss a lot of trending topics about the NFL and the NBA. And to be honest, that's where I got 
a good bit of my information from about you know the John Wall thing if I'm being honest so like comment subscribe if you want share if you want and I'll see you on the next one